characters, but then you have to keep remembering their subjects for you as well. Mm. And it sounds like some of them have sort of, the lines are a little blurred there. You have relationships with these people. What is your responsibility to your subjects? I mean, the road being one of them, how do you address that? Uh... It's a huge question. Uh, I mean, it's a gigantic question. I, I guess I feel that my my greatest responsibility to my subjects is to try to d depict their world truthfully, and uh, that obviously um, is. Uh, it's not always clear what that means, and there are varying opinions about what the reality of life in a in that particular prison are or the reality of life i mean imagine imagine the points of view you'd have to satisfy to say you'd written truthfully about the west bank i mean holy mackerel that's uh that's quite a intimidating prospect um i uh I, I, I think as a, 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 a journalist, I try very hard to, to maintain close relations with my subjects. I want them to still speak with me when they read the piece. Uh, I want them to still speak with me years later because there's, there's amazing opportunity in that to watch people over time. It's not always possible so I think sometimes to speak the truth as you say it, you're going to alienate people who thought you agreed with them. Um, uh, I've only done one book undercover, which is the prison book, and one of the reasons it was so difficult was because I, I couldn't bring the people I liked along in my thinking and, and run my ideas by them and say, so... So what I see is this, and give them a chance to respond or correct me. Um, That's because you didn't want them to know you were a writer. Correct. I couldn't tell them I was a writer, or I couldn't. I would have lost my job and and some of my teeth. <laughs> um, so so there are, there are limits. Um, and but but I now I teach. I teach some journalism now, and a number of my students are here, for which I uh, am grateful. Uh, but one thing I try to say is, wh especially when you're working on a long-term project, re remember to take your notebook out uh, often, so people remember that you're not there because you're their friend, you're there because you're interested in them, and there's a difference. And does it cross over into friendship? Sometimes, yes, but it's not the same kind of friendship it's it's my job and i and i try to make sure people remember that it's my job and um uh and i, and I also try very hard to keep them from misperceiving what i'm doing sometimes people will think if i'm talking to them at this length it's because i am their next great advocate and um and it's important to let people know you're talking to the other side too uh, but it, it it doesn't always serve your short-term purposes to do that. And uh, you know what I'm talking about, Bill? Oh, too well. And and I've often thought I should have got out my notebook by now, but they'll stop talking. Well, that's so. Yeah. Uh, it, well, you know, I don't want to stop them, but this gets to be a less moral situation as I just let them rattle on and plan to write it all down later. And oh yeah, it's full of. I mean, journalism is one of the most ethical professions fraught with ethical questions of any I know. Because all any time you take somebody's story and present it in your own way, you you've 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 made an ethical judgment, haven't you? You've done something that they could disagree with and say you've you've wronged me and uh and so it can be kind of scary that way. Yeah. Do we have time for any more? Is uh Okay. Well I'm having a great time. Uh, so maybe just one last, last. Okay, this is the last question. Well, I was just uh, wondering. Kind of follows up to the questions beforehand, but um, I was wondering um, how do people kind of react to you 
kind of coming into wherever they are and trying to, as a, you know, an American, as an outsider, how do they react to you and how do you get them to kind of open up um, sure. and tell you about themselves? Yeah. In, in Palestine and West Bank, how would that have worked? That's a really good, really good question. Um, they react in all kinds of ways. Some react suspiciously, some react warmly. Uh, my personal strategy is not to not to hire a fancy car with a driver, but to get in that truck and uh, and share the circumstances with people that make them feel I'm interested in how they live. So uh, 